boys fantasy to play, <laughs> play the drums. Just bang on them. Yeah, things, exactly. Right? And make noise. And how about the Tyco drummers? This is pretty cool. They're performing this weekend at Tempe Center for the Arts. Hey, hey Corey. Corey. These are among, good morning, you guys. Uh, I'd have to say this is the worst Christmas present you can ever give <laughs> to <laughs> any <laughs> parents of uh, toddlers. Yeah, you want to get about a three-year-old started on taiko drumming pretty early, right? Oh, totally, yeah. I'm, I'm not a parent, so yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is Kaz. Uh, introduce everybody in your group, would you? Okay, we have Abby, mm -hmm. Wolf, Joe, and Arthur in the back. Well, Arthur's showing the badonk. Pretty nice. Uh, no, go ahead. This is what the ladies like. You just, you just stay right there. Uh, he knows what he's selling, doesn't he? Yeah. Uh, well, tell me about the group. What, what's your, what's your philosophy of drumming? What are you trying to give to the audience? Well, we're we're pretty unique. Where we're mixing rock with taiko. So we okay. have, we also have a band that's not here at the moment, but we have a, a rock band, and we also have six taiko drummers, and we play a pretty uh, unique show. Fun. Yeah. And these are taiko drums. What yes. makes, what does that word mean? It's a Japanese word, I assume. Uh, and describe what these drums are all about. Okay, so ta yeah, taiko just means drum in Japanese. Mm -hmm. um, and then right here we have three different size drums. So this is a chu, which is kind of the medium sized drum. Mm -hmm. And we have a, a bang one here. Sure. Well, that's solid. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, here we have a shime, which is mm -hmm. the higher pitched one. Yeah. Oh, I like that. That's yeah. my favorite so far. Okay. And then we also have okero, which oh. we can also wear, which we were doing a few seconds oh, ago. Oh, yeah, go. Yeah. Oh, that's all business. Yeah. I like yeah, that yeah. very much. And then back, um, and so those are all the same. And then back mm -hmm. behind the camera, there's a, the old Oh, yeah, we're going to save that for the big finish. All right, well, uh, your show is tomorrow night. Yes. The 7th at 7 o'clock. Mm -hmm. We're here at 7 Tempe. 7.30. Uh, 7.30, yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, come at 7, why not? Yeah. Get a good seat. Uh, all right, well, why don't you guys uh, play us right into the break with something fantastic. Right. This uh, tune's called? Uh, it's called Octopus, but it's not really in the pro. It's just our name for it. Uh, I like it. All right, here they come. Uh, Batare and Octopus. Take it away, you guys. <laughs> on their faces and they're dancing around. Cool. I love that Tempe Center for the Arts. Let's hear some more drummers. Let's do it. You into that? Yeah, Corey's out at Tempe Center for the Arts. Look at this. Look at this well, monstrous drum. <laughs> Look at those sticks. Ooh. You hear that? That's 800 pounds of awesome. And uh, this is <laughs> Joe. And I understand that you were sentenced to an island to learn about this drum. A couple of years worth of training, right? Uh, yes, yes. There was a couple of years. It wasn't of sentenced, but uh, yeah. And tell me, it is the Odaiko, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's called an Odaiko. And what's its importance? Why is it so big? What, what, was it, what was it used for when, it was, when they were initially built? Well, uh, originally these were used as temple or shrine drums in Japan. Mm -hmm. And basically they give off a loud sound. They could use them to mark time or mark meter in uh, prayer and ceremonies and things like that. Oh, gotcha. uh, g give it a couple of whacks. I want to see what an expert sure. does with it. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. So take a big wide stance. Like that. Yeah. Sure. Uh, yeah. Oh. Idea things were so aggressive. Yep. So this, what is the hide or what covers this drum? Uh, this is a female cow skin, about three years old. Oh, uh, wow! They picked that due to the uh, the fat content versus like a bull skin. Interesting. She probably had no idea she was headed that way. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, gotcha. All right. Well, let's uh, go. You get a rhythm going, and then sure. I may jump in. Let's have everybody else uh, jump in on the drums as well. Remember, it's tomorrow night, Batare. 7.30 is the show here at Tempe Center for the Arts. If you've never seen a show in here, the place is beautiful. Uh, everything is, uh, you're going to love it. Uh, it's going to be noisy and full of energy. So hit it, you guys, and uh, we'll just play you right on into your break. See you in a minute. Before they hire him on, he needs a cool outfit, though. He, he needs something he kind, more like that, yeah. One is not like the other. I wonder who it is. <laughs> who sticks out? The plaid-shirted Corey. Corey. No, good job out there. They're very talented. And speaking of